Classifying polygons based on parallel lines. Like other geometrical shapes, polygons have many properties, and they can be classified based on these properties. Some of the properties depend on the presence or absence of parallel lines within a polygon. As you know, parallel lines never intersect because the distance between them never changes. Let's look at the properties related to the number of parallel lines within polygons. As we learned before, rectangles are quadrilaterals. Can you see any parallel lines in this rectangle? Look at these two opposite sides. The distance between them doesn't change, so they are parallel. You can note the same about the other pair of lines. The distance between them never changes, so they are parallel. All rectangles have two pairs of parallel lines. Is there another quadrilateral that has two pairs of parallel lines? Yes, there is. Look at this square. It also has two pairs of parallel lines. Here's the first pair, and here's the second. All squares have two pairs of parallel lines. Now, let's take this shape. By looking at these two sides, we can notice that the distance between the lines never changes, which means that they are parallel. Note that the other pair of lines are parallel as well. This shape is called a parallelogram. Parallelograms are quadrilaterals with two pairs of parallel lines. In this shape, you can notice that the distance between these two lines stays the same, so they are parallel. We call this shape a trapezoid. Trapezoids are quadrilaterals with at least one pair of parallel lines. What about triangles? How many pairs of parallel lines can we have in a triangle? Actually, triangles don't have any pairs of parallel lines. In this lesson, you learned how to classify polygons based on the presence or absence of parallel lines.